Hey friends, Squarespace just released a new update that you need to know about if you're using the platform. It is gonna help you automate your business to the next level. Let's get into it. So today we are talking about email automation. Squarespace just recently released a simple way for you to have a workflow. If someone submits a form, signs up for your newsletter, buys a product in your store, you can send them an automatic email or sequence of emails thereafter. Let's walk through all the options you have. And if you do decide to sign up and use the email campaign tool, it is an add on. And I do have a promo code for you down below that you can use to get started today. Okay, so here we go. We're on my demo website and you'll see email campaigns here in the left on the main navigation. Click on that. You'll see a few options pop up right away, but right below it, you'll see this option for automations. Once you click on that, you'll see there are a ton of different options that you can use, but we're just gonna start with create automation. Here, you're gonna see all the options you do have and you'll also see the options you don't have if there is something specific you're looking for. We'll go through all of these. So engagement, welcome a new subscriber, that's awesome. Reply to a form submission, this is huge. No more needing to connect to a third party tool like Zapier or something else to send an automatic email. You could do it right in the platform. From there, you could offer a discount to new subscribers. And now you could also send an email directly to onboard members as soon as someone signs up for one of your memberships. Now, in my opinion, onboard members and reply to form submissions should be built in for free, but it is an add on. So we'll take a look a little bit more here as we go. Now let's talk about loyalty. So if you have a customer and this is actually pretty cool, it's a first time customer, you can send them a special email. If they are a VIP customer, you could send them a special email or if they are a repeat customer, Customer. Now, these are really helpful in building up your business and your workflow and your automations on when people are buying from your store, how often they're buying from your store, and as you build that up, which is really cool. Then there's re engagement. You can engage new subscribers, re engage customers, and recommend product services. As you can see, there's probably about 10 options here, which is great for the start, and I believe they'll probably add more as you go. Let's click into a few of these and get a feel for it. So, reply to a form submission. You'll see here, subscriber submits any form time delay no delay and then boom you send a thank you email let's take a look here at reward for a vip customer what does that mean well if they spend a certain amount of money on your store you could send an email right away the next day a month later or something like that with a specific action in that email or just a thank you as well with re-engagement let's take a look at let's say re-engage customer customer hasn't made an order for 90 days. That is awesome. I'm so glad that is built in. And I wonder if you could actually adjust that trigger timeline, if it's 90 days, 60 days, 200 days, whatever. I wonder if you could change that. You can change time delay on any of these. And then that's how you could do a sequence of emails, which in my opinion is a little bit cumbersome. I'll show you that in a moment, but you can have a sequence of emails. So if a customer hasn't bought in 90 days, you can send an email on the 90th day, I'm imagining. And then from there, you could send an email a day after, a day after, a day after, but those are separate automations. That's the one thing I think Squarespace is lacking on, that if you use a tool like Kit, and I have videos on it, if you use a tool like Kit, you could actually just set up one sequence with all the emails in one like module, so it makes way more sense versus seeing them all separated. Let's build out one of these. So let's build out the reply to form submissions. Let's click there and then we'll hit next. Now you'll see a few templates here. I don't think they give you an option to customize these or use one of your custom templates, which in my opinion, again, is a bummer, but it is the beginning. So I'll make it better over time. So let's go in here and we'll say create automation based on this template right here. It will drop our logo in there, but if I have a template I already built somewhere else that I really like, I have to kind of start from scratch to make this work. All right, so here we go. At the top, it says trigger subscriber submits any form. Now, what you could do here is you could select any form on your website, which makes it really robust and powerful if you do have separate forms on your site. Makes it a little bit cumbersome if you do add a lot of forms or landing pages to your site. So if you have a pretty in-depth form that somebody fills out to qualify them and you have it throughout your website, well, you're gonna have to check all of those off to make sure that they show up. So I'll select form and I'll have to select two or three different forms here and then know that the title of each form is correct. And then in the future, if I do add a form, I would have to then make sure that it's added here 
in the automation so it works. But just like that, we added the form, we can go back and then from here we could go to time delay. You can customize this to any number of days that you want. You can't adjust days, so it's not by like minutes, zero minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So in this case, no delay means it basically sends it right away. And then if you do custom, you could do one day, two days, three, four, whatever you like. So let's just say four days later, I wanna send it and then we can go into the actual email and customize it. So I'll click here and then I'll hit edit email. And now this will change your whole screen into the email building tool where you can see everything now. So I don't have a logo technically on my demo website, but it would put your logo right here. So no site logo. So just text. Um, if there's an image you want to put there, you could do that as well. But I'll just do text and then I will update our brand name just like that and then we could play with that how we like right and then customize all this text if we want to add a promo code do any of that we could do that any type of section that you want to add in any regular email campaign you could do here so you could add in a blog post a discount product a button any of it right away in the platform which is great the email preview sender details legal stuff you could get all of that situated to exactly what you like you could style the email so then you could adjust the background the font pack the font sizes the link colors, all of that stuff. And then a new feature they did add as well is you could quickly add in and match to one of your sections. So if I want to match the brand here, I could easily do that as well, which is actually really, really nice that they have this built out. So just like that, we could insert the theme we wanna use and use that as a starting point and then pick the exact font style we wanna use as well and customize the email. Once we're done, we just hit back and that'll save it. And then you'll see we have our whole entire automation built and then we would go to activate. Now in this case, it's saying I need to upgrade because I don't have a paid account for this. Now you can go with whatever plan that makes most sense for you. In my opinion, if you're doing email at a very high level, you're probably using a third party tool that is best at email versus Squarespace. Hey, if you get the most value from it, awesome. So in this case, for me, I might just start with this 5,000 or 500, but in that case, it allows me to have the best features in terms of automations and simple workflows that I can then build out my site and experience with one time and use it across all my products, which is great and go from there. So here I'm gonna do the $14 a month. Again, if you use my promo code down below, you should be seeing some type of discount here. I don't know if it's 30%, but you should get some type of discount, which then takes you to the checkout page, which you could see here. It takes it from 168 a year to $42 off to about 126 for this entire plan and having 5,000 contacts. Now, I do want to make a note of something. Squarespace does have two features that are already built in that you might be wondering, do these matter now or do they change? But take a look here. Right at the top, recover abandoned cart emails and request customer review emails. Now, it says included in plan, but that depends on the plan you choose. So it's not in any plan, it's specific plans, which I forget if it's the mid-tier plan or the e-commerce plans, but in those plans that you get these features. And if you do get started with email campaigns there is a promo code and a link down below for you and if you want more help on getting all of this set up so you do it once and you don't have to sweat it i do have a starter kit down below that you could click on get started pay a few bucks get started with it and start building out your entire system today thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace